Shadow and I have come up into the mountains, 6,000 feet above sea level, roughly 2,000 meters, a good altitude for astrophotography, and up where the sky is really clear. You look around, there's not a single cloud up there. Yeah, a little bit over, way over there, a couple little tiny ones. Nothing to worry about. And we're going to be going after a deep sky object tonight. It's really interesting. Can you see clear down there? Those distant mountains. St. George is way down below. The valley is approximately, well, where I live is approximately 3,000 feet above sea level. So we've doubled that as we've driven up here. It was 108 degrees Fahrenheit when we left the valley. It's much cooler up here. <laughs> this is desert country, and it's only the first part of June. It gets hot very, very fast. See right there. Shadow has his coyote vest on him, as well as his tracker, because this is coyote country, so I got to keep him safe. So we're going to have to get hustling to set up, but before we do, let me tell you a little bit about this deep space object that we're going after because it's very interesting. So most people are aware of the Andromeda galaxy, the nearest major galaxy to planet Earth, and it's about 2.5 million light years from Earth, and it's about twice the size of the Milky Way, approximately a trillion stars. The Milky Way is about half that. What we're gonna go after tonight is a galaxy known as M106, about the size of the Milky Way, but it's uh, about 10 times further away than the Andromeda galaxy at approximately 25 million light years from Earth as opposed to 2.5 million light years from Earth. It's a beautiful galaxy. It's a spiral galaxy, but there's something unusual about it still. M106 has two unique features. One, in the center of it is a supermassive black hole. A black hole of, when the, the term supermassive is used, it's, a, it's an actual term to describe an incredibly big black hole with tremendous gravitational forces. In addition, and probably because of the gravitational pull of this supermassive black hole, M106 has not two spiraling arms, coming out of the center, which is most typical, which is what the Milky Way has, and most spiral galaxies have two. It has four, and that is highly unusual. Now, two of them are like your typical spiraling arms coming out of the center, comprised of stars and nebulae, space dust and gases and planets, exoplanets around the many of the stars and a lot of matter and it's where, you know, creation takes place. The other two arms that are spiral and they're very distinctive, you can see them, are comprised of gases. And that's just really weird. And the theory behind it is because of the super gravitational pull of the of the black hole, it's kind of mixed things up a bit, giving us a unique galaxy. It's a colorful, beautiful galaxy. If we do a good job capturing it, we'll be able to see that. So I'm going to get setting up and we'll get uh, star line, polar line. Well, before we do all that, I'll show you the gear we're going to be shooting with tonight. And if all goes well, we'll end up with an image of M106 most unusual galaxy. Let me show you what we're imaging with tonight. The telescope is a 1000 millimeter Maxitoff Newtonian telescope. What that means is at the back here is a big mirror and that as the light enters the telescope it hits that mirror it has curvature to it. It reflects it back up to a secondary mirror up here that then shines it into the camera it takes it at a 90 degree angle and, and reflects it into the camera. Or if you were looking through it uh, with an eyepiece into your eye. And the front of a Maxitoff Newtonian has a lens that corrects for what is called coma. A Newtonian telescope has an inherent flaw as you get towards the edges. 
the stars start to look a little elongated. Things look elongated. That corrects for that. It's called coma. It corrects for that. So it's a, a phenomenal astrograph. The camera is a G24 uh, Orion camera, which is equivalent to the ASI ZWO 2400MC Pro. It's a large pixel size. It's meant for longer focal length telescopes. I'm almost pushing it a little bit here, even with this big of a telescope uh, being on the shorter side for this camera. But it's forgiving because of that, and it has tremendous uh, well depth. So the dynamic range is, is amazing. And we're guiding, this is the guide scope and the guide camera that feeds information to the mount so that it tracks the image just as accurately as possible so we can take long exposures and have pinpoint stars and, and real good detail. So hopefully the guiding will go well. The, the mount is an Orion Atlas EQ-G, a very good, I mean, it's a, a, for what I can afford, very good equatorial mount. That's what we have going on. We're gonna use two minute exposures and we're gonna take as many, as, as many of them as we can discard some of the, the less desirable ones and stack the best ones. And we'll do that tomorrow. But for now, let me get the rest of this all set up and we'll uh, get on the image and start taking sub-exposures. Well, I've been on the target M106. Details are coming out nicely. I've got well over an hour of time on the image now. So why don't we go take a look at it and see how it's coming along. Okay, here we are, M106. Now you're looking at a GoPro imaging a computer monitor, so this will look a lot better when I'm finished in the morning when I process it, but I'm very happy with the details. And there's a, a spiral coming out this way, and then one coming out this way, but then there's basically two others that you can see that normally don't exist that are made of hot gases. And you can see that hot, brilliant core. And deep inside that is a supermassive black hole. Now, I've cropped a little bit here, 75% cropped in. Let me crop back out and show you some interesting features. In addition to M106, there's a galaxy there. There's a galaxy down there, and there's several several others. But this one right here, look at that gorgeous galaxy right there. And that's not the galaxy we're going after. We are going after M106. Look at that magnificent spiral galaxy. Roughly the size of the Milky Way, half a trillion stars, 25 million light years from Earth and four arms. We're taking 120 second exposures. We have 102 minutes of total exposure time. So, all right, we're gonna let the rig do its thing. 1.36 in the morning. I was gonna be asleep by now, but I'm just enjoying myself. It's just beautiful out here. Temperature is so nice. Fire's nice. Doesn't get any better than this.